Hey everyone, this is Vampire Q again, and uh, uh, I really feel kind of awful saying that I'll come back to vlogging and then I go missing for two, three weeks. Well, here's the thing. I did say that I'll be coming back to vlogging, and then I did say I was playing Max Payne, I believe. And I did. I did play Max Payne. I've got... I've only got three chapters left, I believe. Max Payne's got like 28 chapters, so I've played it 25. And uh, and then some unfortunate thing happened. My computer died. I do not know what the problem is. I've isolated the problem to a motherboard problem, either a motherboard problem or a graphics card problem. Because when I turn, when I power on my computer, the post beep sounded one long and three short. Um, and I'm using the award award post beeps, whatever how however you put it that um, there are like different standards of post beeps and mine's on award so one long three shot would be a uh, VGA problem it might be RAM because I think when, when I slot in my fourth uh, stick RAM stick the computer just doesn't boot at all um, right now I cannot even get my computer to boot and I think I'll just be leaving it dead for a while um, not really intending to repair my computer or whatever. I'm waiting for Intel to release the Haswell architecture. Uh, even though Ivy Bridge is going to be a good upgrade for me, but I just do not want to make unnecessary expenditure as of now. I just hate them. I think um, maybe it is an opportunity for me to get back into vlogging. Like, yeah, force me to come back to vlogging. So to bring more updates to you guys and not leave you guys like in the lurch in the cold waiting for updates from me so uh, I want to talk about Max Payne for a little bit because that's what I've been doing before the game crap before my computer crapped out um, when I was playing Nightmare the, like, the two Nightmare levels man those were really awesome I remember back in the day when I was like 14 when playing it got really creeped out by the uh, crying baby and then um, I remember that my brother told me he was playing the second nightmare and then he reached a certain point where the baby was crying like insane and creepy like <laughs> kind and uh, so when I played uh, when I reached the second nightmare I actually breezed through it I completed it and then uh, I went on to YouTube to relieve the nightmare moments again. I, wa I watched um, online videos and then I saw in the comments that somebody got stuck in a nightmare for one hour. So I loaded up, I think I used cheats or something. I went back, I loaded up the uh, Nightmare 2 level um, and then I attempted to walk every single lane of that level first to find that creepy crying that my brother mentioned and second to see if it really takes an hour to get through the whole maze and um, what I found out was my brother the, the creepy crying from the baby was actually Max Payne because when he reached the end of a wrong path Max Payne just goes insane with his scream and his shout and it's, uh, he'll just keep shouting for like I, I don't know, that shot like goes on for like a few seconds, 3 to 4 seconds and then I believe it loops, I'm not too sure because like usually when I reach the end of the path I'll, I'll go back to find another path and um, I've never managed to get stuck in the maze for one hour and, uh, I walked on every single path clearing that level in less than 10 minutes I didn't even reach 8 I believe I think it was 8 somewhere there um, I don't know how you're gonna get lost in the maze for one hour. Um, if you are talking about dying and restarting, you play that whole level for one hour, yeah, then maybe I can understand. But the maze part itself for one hour, I don't think so. I didn't. I don't think it's really possible unless you like intentionally do it, or maybe you're just bad at remembering the routes you've taken and you get lost really easily then maybe yeah one hour but otherwise I think one hour is like way too much time maybe 20 minutes at max um, not saying that that person is bad but everyone has got their ability but for me one hour I just find it way impossible for me 
So what else do I want to talk about? Oh, uh, I remember. Oh yeah, I wasn't creeped out anymore when I was playing the nightmare levels. It was just like normal. I just breezed through everything like it's no problem and just like go through everything, watch all the cutscenes, listen to the crying baby, jump the path, walk around, and then reach the end. And uh, there's something about the Nightmare 2 level that I found out that is... When you're walking the paths, that ge that level seems to have some mechanics that you'll push you off to the side. Like, push you off the path. There was like a few times where I was walking straight and then all of a sudden I'm like at the side already and like have to fight to get back. So, might be just my imagination, but I think that's some sort of game mechanic. And uh... One last thing I want to talk about is you know how people talk about playing scary games in the middle of the night turn off the lights I don't know if you turn on the air conditioning and close the door but make it really dark you wear your headphones and maybe leave the window open so your curtain can like f have a breeze being affected by the breeze and flow through the air and then you wear a headset turn the volume up to soak in the atmosphere of the creepiness the fear to have maximum fear it led me to think, is it possible to influence somebody to fear in the day instead? Um, which will, you need to have one person from his birth, and then you flood his world with like fake people, telling him that the day is evil, the day is scary, that's when ghosts appear and everything, even though we know that they're around 24-7. It's just that people usually are tuned to thinking, to believing that ghosts come out at night and that's where all the supernatural stuff take place but of course they happen in the day as well but it's just that there's lesser occurrence of that, less stories of things happening in the day so I was thinking, is it possible to, to influence somebody to think it's more scary to play in the day, to, to live in the day where he plays scary game in the day, he gets his, his craps in his pants and he plays in the night where it's just like, oh, just another stroll in the park. So, I know it involves like unethical human experimentation thing, but right now we're on vlog, we're in the video, we're just like thinking things through, talking about things. Man, let's just talk about it. So, I don't know, if you want to leave your comment and think is it really possible to influence somebody to think that way that the day is scary than the night? Just drop your comments down there at the um, chat box, whatever, and type the comment, press post, and uh, I'll get back to you through the comments as well as much as possible since I've got a little bit more time in terms of YouTube. I'm not really that big, so I can just communicate with you guys a little bit more. But, uh, I think that's the end of what I'm going to say, so I'll see you guys next time, and this is Vampire Q, out.